In this online lecture, we're going to talk about Friedel-Crafts alkylation. And what we're going to see here, key points, number one, Friedel-Crafts alkylation does follow the general mechanism for electrophilic aromatic substitution. We're also going to see number two here that the pre-step for Friedel-Crafts alkylation involves a reaction between a Lewis acid and a Lewis base, with the pre-electrophile acting as the Lewis base and the electrophile maker acting as the Lewis acid. We're also going to see number three that Friedel-Crafts alkylation has three limitations that we should know. They're called polyalkylation, carbocation rearrangement, and vinyl halides. So let's study our reaction here. These are the reagents. Notice this is playing the role as our pre-electrophile. We have our electrophile maker, which notice happens to be the same one that's used in Friedel-Crafts acylation. And we end up with this as our electrophile added to the benzene ring. So notice in this reaction, we're adding an alkyl halide instead of an acyl chloride. That's why this is called Friedel-Crafts alkylation. So let's learn our reaction here. And first, of course, let's look at our pre-step here. What we're going to see here is that the alkyl halide reacts with the AlCl3 first. And also similar to Friedel-Crafts acylation, the electrons on the halogen donate to the Al on the AlCl3. And again, we said since this is the pre-electrophile and this is the electrophile maker here, we're noticing that the pre-electrophile is acting as a Lewis base because he is donating electrons. And the electrophile maker is accepting electrons, making him the Lewis acid. What we end up with as a result are these structures right here. Notice I'm getting a carbocation and the AlCl3 has turned into AlCl4 with a negative formal charge. Notice our carbocation here is our full-fledged electrophile. And remember, we learned in a previous online lecture that this particular carbocation, methyl carbocations, are extremely unstable and reactive. And that is simply why he's able to react now with a superstable molecule such as benzene. And of course, the mechanism we already know. It's electrophilic aromatic substitution, which again means the electrons grab this carbon right here. We end up with this intermediate plus the two resonance structures. And of course, it's always followed up with a base coming along, abstracting this hydrogen right here. These electrons fall down, regenerating the aromatic ring. And this is our product. And again, notice we've alkylated this benzene ring. Now, with this reaction comes limitations. And we definitely need to know these limitations for our next orgo exam. Professors have a tendency to test you on the limitations of Friedel-Crafts alkylation. So let's look at each one individually here. The first limitation, number one, is that this reaction can lead to something called polyalkylation. And here's what I mean by that. When you try to pull off a Friedel-Crafts alkylation, remember we just saw you can get this as a product. But what can possibly happen is that this reaction keeps going and keeps on adding more methyl groups to the benzene ring like this. It's possible to run this reaction and get this as a product here. Now, if you want that as a product, that's great. But if you only want to add one alkyl group, then obviously this is a problem. So what they do in the lab basically to get around this problem is they add the benzene in excess. As long as the benzene is in excess, this avoids this polyalkylation. So even though this is a limitation, we do know of a way to get around it. Now let's look at the second limitation of this reaction. Number two here, we should know that carbocation rearrangement of the alkyl halide can occur. Let me show you what I mean by that. Let's say we're going to perform this particular Friedel-Crafts alkylation reaction. Remember, what happens here is that this carbon right here, the one that's connected to the halogen, he is going to become a carbocation after the AlCl3 detaches the Cl from him. Which means if that happens, we should end up with this as a result. Notice that carbon would be directly connected to the benzene ring. But the problem is, is that this doesn't happen. Remember, we saw in the pre-step that this reaction involves a carbocation. And we learned in previous online lectures that any reaction that involves a carbocation could possibly participate in carbocation rearrangement. And that's true for this reaction as well. 
So let me show you what I mean by that. Let's say, remember, in our pre-step, the electrons on the Cl are supposed to donate to the AlCl3. What we end up with as a result here is this carbocation and the AlCl4 minus. In this case, our carbocation here is a primary carbocation, which means focus on this carbon right here. Let's emphasize one of his hydrogens here like this. What would happen here is you would get a hydride shift. This hydrogen would simply shift over to this side here and the carbocation would move to the carbon to the left. Notice there is an incentive for this to happen because in the process, we're now getting a secondary carbocation which is more stable than the primary carbocation. This, remember, is a carbocation rearrangement. So that means this, going back to our reaction, we wouldn't get this product. Because remember, this carbon right here would be our original carbocation, but then of course it will shift to this carbon right here. And if that's the carbon that ends up with the positive charge, it is that carbon that's going to directly connect to the benzene ring. So that means this carbon right here connects to the benzene ring and this ends up being our true product for this reaction. Now again, if this was the product that we were after, then of course this is no problem for us. But what if we didn't want this as a product and instead we want the original carbocation, the primary carbocation, to be attached to the benzene ring? Well, we'll learn in another online lecture how to get around this problem. But for now, we need to know that this could be a problem for us. So let's look at the third then limitation here. Number three, the reaction will not take place with vinyl halides. And what does that mean? Simply this right here. Notice if I'm trying to pull off this friedel crafts alkylation reaction, if my carbon right here, the one connected to the Cl, is involved in a double bond, then that simply means that carbon is a vinyl halide or sometimes called a vanillic halide. This type of reagent you cannot use in Friedel Crafts alkylation, so there would be no reaction here. So let's look at our key points here. What did we learn? Number one, we saw Friedel Crafts alkylation does follow the general mechanism for electrophilic aromatic substitution. We also saw, too, the pre-step for Friedel Crafts alkylation involves a reaction between a Lewis acid and a Lewis base. The pre-electrophile acts as the Lewis base, and the electrophile maker acts as the Lewis acid. And we also saw number three here, that Friedel Crafts alkylation has its three limitations. Polyalkylation, carbocation rearrangement can occur, and we can't use vinyl halides in this reaction.